Hello. This time, I am trying to use JavaScript found as the logic component. This is called as custom JavaScript. And allows you to write custom JavaScript code to perform as complex logic as you need. Before using it, let's prepare the simple application. At first, let's create the page variant that's type is number. Back to view, and change the title, then delete the paragraph. Add the input field, and bind the value to the page variant created before. Add the button, and open the logic window for the button. Now let's drag and drop the JavaScript component. Double click on the JavaScript component to open the editor. This window is divided into three areas. Input setting area, coding area, and output setting area. At first, let's set the input. In this case, I am using the page variant as the input value. Now, let's start the coding of custom JavaScript. The first line is converting the input value to the number. Input value is in the object inputs and the key input 1. This is the regular expression to identify the string. Checking whether the input value has strings or not. If the input value has the string, it returns the object that has the error code and error message. Because I want to make this return as the second output, I am returning the array of the format index, return object, where index is the index number of the desired output. If the input value can be divided by 2, and the remainder is 0, it sets even number to the variant nom type, in other cases, it sets odd number. Finally it returns the value of variant nom type as the first output. So this custom JavaScript is checking whether the input value has the string or not, if it has the string, return the error as the output too. And if the input value is the number, it returns even number or odd number as the output one. This coding might not be really meaningful, but I've coded this simple program in order to just get an overview of the feature of custom JavaScript. Next, let's set the output. The default output key is result, you can change this name like this. In this case, I won't change it, and use the default key name, result. Because I want to use two outputs, I change the number to 2 here. Change the property type of output 2 to object. Because I am sending the object in the result. I don't use the property ID, so delete it. And add new properties ERR code and ERR MSG. Without adding these properties, it is possible to access these values. But it shows these property names when I am using the formula later, by adding setting these new properties.
Output 1 is like this. I didn't change anything from the default. Now all settings of custom JavaScript are finished. Press Update button. Because I've set two outputs, there are two output ports. Output information are shown correctly as I've set. Let's add alert components and connect to each port to show the message for each case, success, or error. In the case of success, let's show the message returned by the custom JavaScript component as it is. In the case of error, let's show the error code and error message by using the formula. Because I've set ERR code and ERRMSG as new properties, the system shows those property names as candidates like this. Developing the application is finished. So press save button. Now let's start testing this application. At first, testing on the browser. When I press the check button, it shows even or odd number as expected. When I input the string, it shows the error code and error message as expected. This is the demo on the mobile device. It is also working correctly as expected. My impression. Almost all functions used in my custom JavaScript are available in the formula. So it might not be really necessary to create the custom JavaScript component like this video. However it would be useful to avoid writing complex and long statement in the formula. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.